hello sweet family welcome back once again to my channel today we're gonna make this delicious but yet healthy egg stew we're really gonna have fun today so let's start i have some cut tomatoes and i also have some crushed garlic and i also have some habanero pepper for the heat if you do not like hot you can just keep it i have some sweet pepper or red pepper some yellow pepper and some green bell pepper and here are my scallions or spring onions for garnish and also some carrots and i also have some shallots or red onions there i'm going to use that for garnish and i have my white onions as well for spice, I'm gonna use parsley, black pepper, onga classic, and also some maggi cubes and some rosemary. And I'm gonna use five eggs for this, cause remember we're making egg stew here. So friends, if you do not have all these uh, vegetables, don't worry, you can still make it. Remember we're making egg stew. I am using all this vegetable just for presentation. What is most important is your tomatoes, eggs, and onions. The rest are just for look. And remember, this is just a guide to help you on how to make this delicious meal. So if you do not have all the ingredients, like I said, don't worry. You can just still make it. So to start, I'm going to add my onions into my oil. And I'll also add my tomatoes and crushed garlic. Give it a stir and let it simmer on a medium heat now. Now I'm gonna add my habanero pepper for the heat. If you do not like hot, like you said, you can skip that. So I will just let it simmer for about five minutes and with constant checking on just to stir to make sure it does not get burned and I'll let it simmer on a very low heat now and I'll start prepping my eggs so I'm gonna add one teaspoon of salt to it and I'm also gonna add a pinch of black pepper to it and I'll just give it a stir so they are well combined So that is done and our stew is also looking great. I'm gonna add my salt to it and just give it a good stir. Mm, I'm telling you this egg stew is really gonna be flavorful. Oh my goodness, I cannot wait to taste it. So now I'm gonna add my carrot to it because remember carrot is a bit hard so it goes in first. But we do not want to overcook our vegetable or our carrot. So you wait until the stew is almost done before you add it. And now it's time to add my eggs to it. But please do not stir immediately. Let it simmer on a low heat for about 3 minutes. And when that is done, I will gently go on the side. To make sure that it does not stick in the pot and now I'll stir it right from down so that whatever is whatever is sticking will just come out so be very gentle when you're doing that and I'll also leave it for about two minutes so once our eggs are a bit hard I'm going to flip it and turn it over so that the surface will also get the chance to cook and I'll also just be gentle give it a little stir and let it sit for about three minutes and now 
that is also almost done it looks delicious my whole kitchen is smelling so good the aroma is just I cannot describe it <laughs> so it's time to add my spices I'm gonna use some Maggi cubes and I'll also add the rest of my spices to it like I said you can use any spice of your choice <laughs> yeah you can use any spice you want just add that and stir it together so they are well mixed and now it's time to add our vegetable the vegetable goes in last because we do not want to overcook our vegetable we still want to have the crunchiness in the vegetable that's why i always add my vegetables last yes that looks so delicious and colorful i always love my meal colorful yeah if you know me then you know that <laughs> Mm, so I was still just look perfect now it's time to add my scallions or spring onions to it because our egg stew is almost done and this is just for garnish so at this point I turn my heat off and our stew is done you can have this with rice plantain yam so many things and it was just delicious mm. so I'm gonna have this with my beautiful plantains and it went down well it was just amazing thanks for stopping by see you next time bye